Today is April 2nd, 2017. Last night I saw Ghost in the Shell, the 2017 live person version with Scarlett Johansson. And it was amazing. It was great. It was just like The Matrix. And when I say it was just like The Matrix, I mean it is about straw man theory, sovereignty, uh, redemption. And when I say redemption, I mean straw man, legal fiction redemption. To meet your straw man. He was born the same day you were. He looks like you, has the same name, and lives in your house, but you never knew he existed. So we see Scarlett Johansson looking at herself in the mirror, trying to differentiate between herself and her straw man, the ghost in the shell. There is no law on the books anywhere in this country that applies to you as an individual creature. There is no law. They have no control over you, your flesh and blood self. More than AI. We changed her entire identity, but her ghost survived. Her ghost is what failed us. We cannot control her. She's no longer a viable asset. But somebody has to control the show, developed a, new, a system by which they would assign to every person a second you. And this is the way it works in America. There is two of you. Consequently, the system has made each one of you a corporation. And how, how now do you distinguish which one, uh, when someone's addressing you, that they're addressing you as the one that your mother gave birth to, or the corporate you? And I do not consent to the deletion of this data. I do not consent. I do not consent. And I'm making this video as fast as I can because I see a lot of people hating on it online. All those things are frivolous, useless. For you to understand that Ghost in the Shell is metaphorical for the strong legal fiction. I'll put links in the description below to YouTube resources, videos, Jordan Maxwell, Meet Your Straw Man. So only so that you could more understand this movie, because as I was just re-watching it, I realized, and most of it is scenes between Scarlett Johansson and the Doctor, all these scenes are explaining, it's kind of like Neo and Morpheus. Like those, when Neo and Morpheus talk, have their one-on-one -on -one conversations in the Matrix, that's that's where the meat of the Matrix is. So the meat of Ghost in the Shell is when Scarlett Johansson is talking to the Doctor. That's the, the Neo Morpheus scenes right there. And Agent Smith is Cutter, the guy that's like enforcing everything in the Hanka Corporation. So I said, just like the Matrix, it is about straw man theory, sovereignty. If you're interested in this, you don't have any background, look up videos by Jordan Maxwell. Look up the real famous video, Meet Your Straw Man, or acquire the book Redemption Manual 5.0. Don't try any of this <laughs> unless you fully understand it. Like, don't actually try to do this. You'll probably end up in jail. But as far as watching Ghost in the Shell or The Matrix, it's good to have this background in order to understand more fully what the writers and directors intended. So hence the ghost, your spirit soul, ghost in the shell. And your shell corporation is the legal fiction. Uh, in this case, it's the body. And, and so the metaphor, metaphorically speaking, is the government, or actually the Hanka Corporation, created this artificial body, but they kept Scarlett Johansson's brain and put it in the artificial body. So her brain is real. The body is, a fi is artificial. Hanka Corporation has control over the body, but they cannot control her brain which I'll get back to that. So there's a scene in the movie where Cutter, he's like the antagonist, says that they control her shell, but not her ghost. So, and that's how it is in sovereignty theory. They control your straw man, legal fiction, through the laws, but they do not control your soul. And she repeatedly says, I major so-and-so, I forgot her name, it was I major so-and-so, consent, she says that so many times that she applies consent to whatever the decision is. And then at one point when they're trying to kill her, she says she does not consent. And then the doctor says, well, we never really needed your consent in the first place. And then there's a scene where Cutter says something like, she's not 
a human, she's a contract. She's mine. No, she's a contract with me. She, the doctor also mentions that they gave her false memories, which is a repeated theme through a lot of uh, movies, implanted memories, false memories. But in this case, I think it has to do with us being born into this, I guess, commercial law system and having us disassociate with who we really are, with who they want us to think that, that we are. And that's the legal fiction that they made up. There was another repeated theme throughout the movie where after they created Scarlett Johansson's character, they kept telling her that she was the prototype and that everybody was going to become just like her. And that, I guess, is kind of like what Jordan Maxwell was saying, was that everybody was going to get a legal fiction, a straw man. You're what everyone will become one day. Your body was damaged, we couldn't save it. Only your brain survived. We made you a new body. A synthetic shit. Your body was damaged, we couldn't save it. Only your brain survived. We made you a new body. A synthetic shell. Consequently, when you are born, you come out of your mother's water. Therefore, you must have a birth certificate, a certificate of manifest, because you are a corporation-owned item. You are a human resource. Where did I come from? Mr. Kevin brought them to us. I didn't ask questions. The harbor, my parents, the way they died. Did that happen? I hope by now I've presented enough of a case for you to understand that Ghost in the Shell is metaphorical for the straw man, legal fiction. I'll put links in the description below to YouTube resources, videos, of Jordan Maxwell, Meet Your Straw Man. So only so that you could more understand this movie, because as I was just rewatching it, I realized and most of it is scenes between Scarlett Johansson and the doctor. All these scenes are explaining it's kind of like Neo and Morpheus. Like those when Neo and Morpheus talk, have their one on one conversations in the Matrix, that's that's where the meat of the Matrix is. So the meat of Ghost in the Shell is when Scarlett Johansson is talking to the doctor. That's the the Neo Morpheus scenes right there. And Agent Smith is Cutter, the guy that's like enforcing everything in the Hanka Corporation. So, yeah, that's that. Don't hate on Ghost in the Shell. And if you have any friends that hate on it, said it's a crappy movie, ask them if they know about the straw man. And if they don't, introduce them to this video and the videos and the links in the description below. Actually, I think it's all in this one single f video here that I'll put in the link. All right, I'll leave it at that. If you're seeing this video as a first time viewer of this channel, the Jonathan Lippy channel, you might want to subscribe, especially if this was intriguing to you. We do a lot of this on this channel. If you're already a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. And let me know what you thought about Ghost in the Shell. Let me know if you agree, if you think what I'm saying this movie is about, or if you think it's about something else. Obviously, it's also about, you know, man and machine humans have more abilities to think than a machine does but i think that's so played out ghost in the shell is too cool too in style too thought provoking too cutting edge to go with a tried and tired uh topic as the robot human duality scarlett johansson is too much on the cutting edge to do something so lame and overdone as that topic this one's more cutting edge birth certificates straw mans legal fictions Maritime Admiralty Law, all the stuff of the Matrix that people didn't catch being done again for a new generation. So anyway, drop the comments below. Let me know what you thought.